Welcome back again. This time it was time to bring the canoe out. We've been sitting in the whole day in front of the computers back home. And now it's evening and we loaded up the canoe, some food and we're heading out on the water. We are actually just a few kilometers away from home. It's not the same lake where we live. It's another lake. This area I have been here before, especially in winter time, but I have not made many canoe tours here. I've been living here for more than 20 years and <laughs> it's still areas I haven't been to very, very close to home. So right now it's Tina, me and the border collie Annie and Johnny who is out here. We're going to overnight in the tent with the stove and we're going to cook food there out there and then tomorrow morning we're going home again. So this is just a short tour. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have that's hold tight. Found what we're looking for in life. That's crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather it Sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. <laughs> 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 like you look like a gymnastic. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> It's actually quite interesting how much gear we brought out here now. Because you know, when you're thinking that ah, we're just going for one night, then you put everything into the bag <laughs> and into the barrels. Mm. I'm so hungry, so while Matti is putting up the stove in the tent, I will make a fire so we get a good glow to cook on.
so now I'm going to <laughs> make this stove to a stove. You see, this is a titanium stove and it is a little bit tricky to make it from the package to a stove. So dirty hands from the stove. So we actually got some friends out there. Now they're just hanging around with us. Fun? Mm. I'm so uh, hungry. Uh, Stina is so hungry so she actually look at the birds and want to eat them. But now we start cooking dinner. And tonight we're going to eat. We have a big sausage made of beef meat. And we may cut in that. And we fill it up with tomato, onion, cheese, and then mustard. And then we put it aluminium folie around it, wrap it with aluminium folie, and put it on the glow. And with that, we're going to have rice. One of the most common reasons why people get diarrhea on hiking tours and on tours during the summer is because they don't clean the stuff after they have used it. That's one reason. Mm, smells so nice. Oh, mm. oh. Are you happy? Lovely. So you get half and I get half. Yeah. Huh? We'll see if we can get this up done. Um, dog hair and everything.
So now we have been sitting here for a while and eating and drinking tea and chatting and filming and looking at birds and it's amazing we have had several birds coming around and hanging around here and we can all the time hear whooper swans and some other birds just a few kilometers outside Jokmok. Now we have made fire in the tent, in the stove, and I think it's time for sleeping bag now. Annie, she thinks definitely it's time for sleeping bag. Annie, it's time for sleeping bag. I think she's a little bit tired. These dogs really love to be outdoors and they really love to be with us. Look at her, she's a honey. Hey. Now we have two whooper swans there flying and some answering over there. No, time for bed. What the timing with the uh, rain. Okay. Just funny. We... This was really good. We have waited <coughs> just a few minutes more than it had been panic. Cozy with the sound of rain on the tent when you're gonna to sleep and don't have to stay outside. So this stove is the smallest one they have and that's maybe good if you have to carry stuff. But when you do canoe tours we could have had a bigger one, more heavy one. But it's enough with the heat, at least now. It's, it's enough. very hot in here now. It's enough with the heat and it's enough with money to spend on one stove. We don't need to spend money on two stoves. <laughs> it's really warm in here and outside it's still raining. I have two really hot dogs here. Two hot dogs? Yeah, two hot dogs. <laughs> I'm so very tired. Yeah. Uh, it's one o'clock. It's a new day tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. See you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's a new day. And... It was raining when we waked up. And I understand why these are called hot tents. <laughs> because when you fire up, as soon as you start the fire, it becomes like a sauna in here. It's really hot. So This is not a summer tent, but it's a really, really good autumn. And a good tent when you have um, fall, maybe. Yeah, fall te tent, yeah. And you need to dry up stuff and... Pack raft tent. Yeah. When everything is wet from sitting in the pack raft. Now I have to eat breakfast. And continue keep the fire going for a while. And then going home maybe. Egg and bread and tea. Egg and bread and tea and coffee. It seems like Johnny really enjoy <laughs> looking at us when we're eating. Actually, it's so interested in the food. Now I see, I, I, I think I should throw this 
this sweater away. It's a wool sweater from Aklima. I have used it for many, many years. And now it starts to be holes everywhere. Uh, these Aklima sweaters are really good, but this black one has never been good. It has smelled much more than the other ones. Um, the other ones with other color, exactly the same type of Aklima brand. But this one is smelly, and now finally I get holes in it so I can throw it. And it and also shrinks uh, very much when you when you uh, wash it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it every behaves. time you wash it, you have to really stretch it a lot. Yeah, that's it's not. It up. behaves totally different than the other ones because I think I have I have had five or no ten of these ones yeah. during all the years, and this one is really crappy one. If I compare it to the other ones, I think we have a big problem right now, and that's called tent coma. <laughs> Outside, it's cold, windy, rainy, wet, mosquitoes. Inside here, we have coffee, tea, hot stove. Yeah. Actually, the problem we have now is that the time is going the time is running and two o'clock we have a telephone meeting and we had to go home now now when you can pack things when it's not raining the life is so much easier because if it's raining you had to cover up everything or do all the work inside the tent now it can spread out and yeah this is lovely so sometimes it's good to not stress away early in the morning when you wake up. That you actually take another cup of coffee, waiting, and then it maybe stop raining. Stress takes you nowhere in the bush. Oh. Someone is not too happy that we take down the tent <laughs> and it's Yoni. Yoni, do you want us to have the tent up? Yeah, you don't want to be outside. No. A lot of people folding the tent, so careful. I just push it into the bag. This tent that we have been using now, with the stove and chimney and everything, it's 2.8 kilo, so it's ridiculously light, lightweight actually. Do you hear the bird? Cuckoo, cuckoo. Stina asked, What is the English name of that and I say cuckoo bird and I said no what is it <laughs> cuckoo <laughs> <laughs> it's cuckoo bird she had to google it I don't really understand why she need to google things when I'm here she could ask me instead of google so I am google Super good with a handle on the back. If they fall into the water, you can always catch them in the handle. Yeah. Does Yoni fall into the water? 
<laughs> it doesn't really fall into the water. We sometimes are too quick to jump out of the canoe when we go to shore. And it just sort of jumps right out to the water instead. <laughs> So thank you for watching this video, we really had a nice tour out here. On the way back home we crashed the drone into the water. That's another story that we maybe tell another time. See you next video, ciao!